five. So let me scroll it up a little bit. So hopefully you understood number one. Here's number five. So it has a backyard. Let me see. Backyard. And here's the walkway. Sorry, I'm trying this. Walkway. And there's a patio. Lawn. Another lawn. And the garden. And then I'm just copying the dimensions. So here's seven feet, three feet, six feet, nine feet. And then it says from here to here is also nine feet. Okay, so the first part of this problem says about what percent of the total area is taken up by the patio, walkway, and the garden. Okay, round the uh, answer to the nearest um, whole percent. Okay, so this is a strategy I'm going to take. I'm going to first find the area of the entire backyard. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is then I'm going to find the areas of the patio, walkway, and garden separately, combine those, okay, and then go from there, all right, and then try to find the percent. So um, once I find those areas, I will go over how to find the percent using those numbers, okay? So first, I need to know, um, to find the area of the entire backyard, I need to know the length and the width. Now, the length right here is easy. It says 9 and 9. So that is 18 feet. Um, the width right here, you have to think a little bit. So if I have six feet here and three feet here, six plus three would give you nine feet. Okay, and this is the backyard. So area is length times width. Area is 18 times nine. Area is, and um, I don't have a calculator because my phone I'm using it to record this so 72 one six 162 square feet is the area of the backyard and what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do anything with it I'm just gonna save it here for now okay now I'm going to find the areas of the patio the backyard I mean I'm sorry the walkway and the garden sorry my kids are talking to me <sighs> garden okay so the dimension for the patio goes like this so very easy over here six and then if you look at the length it says nine so six by nine the walkway so right here which is this is six plus three, so that's nine. And right here, if you take a look, it says from here to here is nine feet, but then we know that right here we have seven feet here. So nine minus seven makes this uh, dimension right here two feet. For the garden, this is seven and this is three, so seven feet by three feet. Okay, so. Here's the area. Okay. Area equals length times width. Area equals 9 times 6. Area equals 54. Area equals length times width. Area equals 9 times 2. Area equals 18. Area equals length times width. Area equals 7 times 3. Area equals 21. Now I'm going to combine those areas together. Okay, so 54 plus 18, 72 plus 21, 93. 
be to the second power. This is the combined area. Now, they want you to find what percent is this 93 feet square out of this entire backyard, which is 162 feet square. So, you know, when we were talking about percent, we learned to write, we, we learned to write um, a fraction as a percent. And one of the ways was to first write it as a fraction. So here's part to total, and you can do in and out. So that means 93 goes in, 162 goes out. Okay, it's okay, Evelyn. Mommy's working. Go, go. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to first um, convert the fraction as a decimal by doing in and out, by dividing. So I'm going to put a decimal point and add a few zeros. Now, 162 does not go into 9 or 93. 162 goes into 930. Let me see, maybe five times. Okay. Maybe six times. Let's it's one or the other. Okay, so five times. Okay, which is eight hundred and ten. Okay, that is correct. I'm going to subtract to one, bring the zero down. 162 goes into 1,200, maybe eight times, let's see. 16. Oh, that's a little too much, so maybe seven times. Okay, so seven times. I'm sorry, my kids are distracting me. Okay, Evelyn, mommy is working. Okay, now I'm going to subtract. So borrow, borrow again, six, six, and then that's it. I am going to actually bring another zero down and divide just one more time. And I have a reason for that. I will talk about it in just a minute 162 goes into 660 I'm thinking four but I could be wrong okay yeah four times okay I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there and here's the reason now that I have the answer as a decimal I'm going to convert it to a percent and to do that you need to start from the decimal point and move the decimal place two times to the right but since they want you to convert the percent to the nearest whole percent I need to look at this digit to decide whether this seven is gonna stay the same or I'm gonna round it up since it is four or less I'm going to let it stay so the percent is 57% and okay okay all right now um, and then there is a second part to it it says one longer side of the backyard lies next to the back of his house he wants to um, build a fence that cost six dollars and seventy five five cents per foot around the other three sides. How much would it cost? Okay, so basically what they're saying is this. The longer side, which is either this one or this one, it is. it lies next to the back of his house. So his house is, let's say, like right here. He wants to put fence around the other three sides, okay? And it's gonna be $6.75 per foot around the other three sides. So then what I need to do is, this is not area, this is actually closer to a perimeter, which is the distance around the outside of a polygon, okay? So then I need to know the dimensions of these three sides, which I already know from here, nine, 18, and nine. So what I'm going to do is, and here's part two, um, I'm going to combine them, nine plus 18 plus nine, which is 36, okay. And then it is um, $6.75 per foot. So 
every foot costs six dollars and seventy five cents so i'm going to take six dollars and seventy five cents multiply by thirty six feet okay so that's thirty 42 plus 3 is 45, 36 plus 4 is 40. I'm going to X out Okay, for the space placeholder. You can just put a 0 down if you want. 3 times 5 is 15, 7 times 3 is 21 plus 1, so 22. 18 plus 2 is 20. Add them up. 0, 10, 3, 4, 2. Okay, I have two decimal places, so I need to move twice to the left, and I got a nice number, $243. So let's try that. And yay, I got it right. Okay, um, I think there was one more problem that I thought I might do. I don't know if it's gonna 